Hi guys and welcome back. If you are new to the channel, please do hit that subscribe button and tap the bell icon so that you don't miss any of the free content that I share with the trading community here on YouTube. So as I use IG myself, a lot of the traders who work with me or even who just see my content actually end up joining IG as a result of this. And because of that, I get a huge amount of messages and emails and so on and so forth from traders asking me about how to use the platform. Now, before we go any further, I just want to mention that I am in no way affiliated with IG whatsoever. I don't work with them, I don't earn referral commissions, kickbacks, nothing. You won't find any referral links anywhere here. So you're probably thinking, why the hell are you making this video? I'm making this video today for one reason, and that's to help, that's it. You guys have sent me IG related questions and that's what this YouTube channel is for. I want to get them answered for you all, help you all, add value for you all, free of charge. That's it. So with that, let's dive in. What I'm going to do here is basically put together a series of short videos, each covering an IG platform related topic or question that I've been asked. And the most recent question I've been asked uh, is, understanding the sidebar, loading charts, and creating layouts. So that's exactly what I'll show you how to do today. So let's go, let's dive in. So here we are inside IG. We're looking at uh, one of my own layouts here. And you can create layouts using the top tab up here. You can click the plus button here. And let's say you have, um, a swing strategy that you apply to stocks. You might make a stocks layout tab where you add in the stocks that you uh, you apply your swing strategy to, as one example. So these are really useful in that respect for perhaps having different layouts for different strategies or markets and so on and so forth. Now, within these, you can add in markets by coming over here to the sidebar on the left and you can select the type of market that you want select the individual markets itself, and then add these straight into your layout to keep things nice and organized. Now, there's a few things that you can do here. You can lay different markets out together like this, if I just show you how to do this. So if I just grab uh, another market from over here and add this in, you might want to have two markets side by side like this so that you can oversee them both, or you can tab them away like this so that you can flick through from individual markets to individual markets, which is generally what I prefer to do myself. I hate trying to look at more than one market or one thing at once, if I can help it, just to prevent confusion and not get overwhelmed. So let's take a look back at the sidebar again over here on the left. So from the top left down, we've got indices or stock indexes, uh, foreign exchange markets or Forex or currencies as they're also known. Uh, cryptocurrencies, we all know what they are by now. Uh, shares or stocks or equities as they're also known. Commodities markets, uh, bonds and ETFs, sorry, bonds and rates. Uh, ETFs after that or electronically traded funds and options here at the bottom. Below this, you've also got your watch lists. So, for those that don't know, what is a watch list? It's similar to a layout tab. A watch list, it's just a list of markets, as you might expect, that you might want to put together. So some people prefer watch lists, some prefer tabs. Uh, I prefer tabs myself, but they, they more or less do the same thing. Below this, you've got your positions tab for your current positions, orders tab for your current orders, history tab to show trades closed in the last 24 hours and the alerts tab for any alerts you might have set up and ready. Below that, you've got a news and analysis tab, trade signals tab, and below that, a link to IG's own economic calendar too. And below that, finally, a settings tab. Right, so that's it for this very short beginners loading charts and layouts video. Uh, I hope that's been helpful. Look out for the next using the IG platform video coming in a day or two. Again, I hope that helps. 
I hope that triggers uh, some inspiration. If you have any comments whatsoever, just drop a comment in the, uh, the box below the video. And I'll leave it there for today. And as always, trade with edge, with consistency, and I'll look forward to having you back here on the channel soon. Thanks, everyone.